you, Sophie, are amazing, right? I know that, you know, your experiences are what drives you to do the work that you do in theater. You were an unnatural and accidental woman where you were actually playing a victim who was actually uh, murdered uh, by the barbershop killer. Yes. And that was an amazing performance. It touched my heart, you Mm -hmm. know, uh, to see you on the big screen too. And um, the other films that you have done, you've also worked in, in as voiceover. You've gone from extreme, you know, <laughs> to being murdered to working uh, in children's uh, yes. series. Yes. Too. Yes, mm-hmm. I, I hosted a children's show called Wang Kaija, which is a, um, a Lakota word, uh, which means sacred one. And yeah. that's how the Lakota people, um, that's what the Lakota people called their children. Um, and so that was a wonderful experience. Yeah. Um, you know, we hosted two seasons. I hosted two seasons for APTN and mm-hmm. um, with Kim Sue Goodtrack, who is a writer, yeah. and Dana Claxton, and the an director mm-hmm. and, and producer. Mm-hmm. And, Dana you know, Claxton. yeah, so I, I hosted it um, as Kimmy Mila, and I got to talk with puppets, you know, Muppets who were um, acted out by Sam Bob and Wayne. Okay, let me hear your voice. La Valley. Show me the voice. It's been so long. Anyway, yeah. um, But yeah, that was a wonderful experience. And it was basically about teaching children um, their culture and giving them a sense of pride Mm. in who they, you know, who they are. And, uh, you know, I'm a big believer in that. You know, Mm. I I love working with youth and children that way. Um, And restoring culture and language. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, You know, my one of my earliest experiences um, an actor was when I was still living in Saskatchewan um, and I'd gone through the 25th Street Theatre School and I worked with students who were otherwise marginalized and most of them were um, Aboriginal students at uh, survival school in Saskatoon and we did a show called Troubled Spirits Mm -hmm. which we we toured to um, Halifax, Nova Scotia for um, a festival and it was amazing like a lot of these kids you know teenagers come from really troubled you know backgrounds like so much violence and you know, so much trauma that they've already seen. You could see the the hurt in them and the the trauma. But once we got them on stage, you know, their their personalities changed. Like they became confident and they were so changed by the experience of, you know, creating character and creating a story. It was wonderful. Expressing themselves and arts and culture. It'll keep us alive forever. Yes. And uh, so I know that you're also doing work on weaving reconciliation Reconciliation. Tell yes. us what character mm. you're playing, who you're working with, and what dates we have to look forward to. Um, yes, um, I'm very excited about this project. I'm working uh, with uh, Renai Morriso, Savannah Walling, and mm-hmm. Rosemary Jorgensen, yeah. who are the co-writers of Weaving Reconciliation. Mm-hmm. My co-actors are uh, Stephen Litton, mm-hmm. Sam Bob, uh, Madeline McCollum, um, Tracy Nipinak from Winnipeg. Oh, yeah. Um, um, yeah, there's a few. You know, I, I don't have the full cast name yet. Okay, but, but you have the tour dates. Give yes. us those because uh, <clears throat> we just have one minute. Right. Uh, this is a, a rough uh, schedule. Uh, it's not totally confirmed yet, but it's going to be an approximate rehearsal time from uh, days of April 23rd to May 13th in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to have a run here. And then next, from May 28th to June 3rd, uh, we're going to Penticton. Then from there, we're going to Toronto with it. Um, We'll be there for a week and then another week in Winnipeg. So when are we in Vancouver? Uh, we're in Vancouver, uh, approximately May the seventeenth, May the fourteenth to um, May the twenty-fifth. All right, you heard it here on Access Television, Red Hot Topics. Thank you, Sophie. <laughs>